Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to farm Renown in Rainbow Six Siege while you're AFK. So this method is going to bring you from 650 to 700, 750 per hour. Okay. Usually what I would do is go to sleep uh, 8 hours, go to work 8 hours, so run it uh, 16 hours per day. And this would make me around 14,000 to 15,000 Renown per day. So it's basically one operator per day, which is pretty good honestly um so this is an app i well a program i created in python uh, i'm gonna add the code uh, in the description if you guys want to take a look at it uh and yeah uh, i'm gonna start with the instructions on how to install it and how to use it and that's pretty much it let's go so first of all what you want to do is click the link in the description below and it's going to bring you to this page now on the top right corner you can download the application uh, it's going to look like this. So click download. It's going to download you a zip file. So you can put that zip file pretty much anywhere on your computer. Uh, I've created a new folder. Put it in here. So what you're going to do is right click on it and extract here. Okay. It's going to create this folder. So uh, the application is in here, and otherwise uh, you have a notepad explanation on how to use it. So yeah, uh, open this up, and then on this page, you're going to have AFK Farm App. So for convenience sake, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to create a shortcut, and we're going to move that shortcut to the desktop. Don't move the application in itself, the .exe, don't move it outside of the folder. Otherwise, it, otherwise it's not going to be able to fetch what it needs to fetch to run, basically. Um, you can also right-click on your shortcut, go to Properties, then go to Change Icon, and then inside the folder uh, with the application, you have the Doka icon. It looks a bit better, your desktop. Okay, so now we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start setting up the application uh, so you can farm properly. So double click on it, and up oh, there you go. Uh, so I'm gonna go over each button and then show you how to set it up. So start. Uh, basically, what it does is that once you're set up, it's gonna start the farming. You can either start the application from your desktop, so you just put it at the top right corner and press start, and it's automatically going to boot the game, go into uh, training grounds, which is a uh, terrorist hunt basically, uh, and then start farming. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you later, but you can also directly launch it from the game, okay? like with the game booted up already. Um, pressing stop, well, uh, just stops the farm. So basically, you come back in the morning after a night of farming, you just press stop and it's going to stop clicking everywhere. Um, configuring, well, basically, if you need to configure, uh, set up the application uh, to tell it where to click and how to do things, uh, but we're going to see that part later. Uh, this little mysterious button here is a foreground switch. So basically what it does is that when it's triggered, so when it's yellow, it's going to put the app in front of every other window. Okay? It's going to put the the application in the foreground of everything. And if you deactivate it, it's going to behave as a normal window. Uh, I would advise acti activating it while you're doing the config steps, but uh, some people have issues where uh, if the window is in the foreground, you're not able to click on anything else. So if you have that issue, just deactivate this option. Okay. The other option is periodically restart the game. So the other issue some people had is that after two hours or three hours, the game would uh, get out of the terrorist hunt, so stop farming, and go back to the main menu. Okay. So. By clicking this button, you can set a periodic restart 
of the game. So basically what it's going to, going to do is that it's going to close the game, wait a little, boot the game back again, go back into T-Hunt and continue farming. So let's say we want to uh, reboot the game every three hours. We're going to put 10,800 seconds, which is three hours, and then confirm. And so it's triggered, well activated. And so now every three hours when it's farming, it's going to reboot. It's just a fail safe in case uh, you have some issues with that. It doesn't happen to everybody, but if it happens to you, well, you have that. So anyway, um, we're going to start configuring the app, setting it up. Uh, so config, are you sure? Yes. Okay, so first step, we're going to select Rainbow Six Siege. So usually it's in your Steam library, Steam apps, common, uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, and it's Rainbow Six Siege.exe. Uh, enter the amount of time the game takes to boot. Uh, usually it's from 100 to 130. It really depends uh, on your like PC performance. But I would advise uh, putting 110 uh, for people I've tested with. Uh, it works pretty well, so yeah. Confirm. Make sure Rainbow Six Siege is closed. Yes, it's closed. I'm going to put the window in the top right corner. Up. And we just wait for the game to boot. Okay, so once the game is booted up, uh, well, enter the game, basically. And then we're going to press next. So um, we're going to switch the window to the far left, just so we can see uh, the settings that we're going to change on this right corner. So all you have to do now is follow the explanations, well the instructions, uh, step by step. It's quite easy honestly. So go to the game settings, options, and ready press next. Game settings, options. Next. On the gameplay tab, go to matchmaking preferences. Matchmaking preferences. Next. In game mode preferences, set all to no except protect hostage. But basically you have to put everything on no except hostage protection. Hostage protection. English is tough. <laughs> um, in map preferences, set all to no except tower. When ready, press next. So here in maps, you can see everything is set to no except tower. Right here. So next. Go back to the game's main menu when ready, press next. So we're going to go back, put the window on the top right corner, and press next. Click anywhere that is not a button on the game. So you can click here, you can click here, click here, it doesn't matter, but usually I would advise clicking here because there's no button appearing here. The battle pass usually will appear somewhere around here. Up, click on change game mode. Here. Click on training grounds. Training grounds is this here. Click on normal. And click on lone wolf. Now we're just gonna have to wait uh until it gets in the in the mission and then we'll do the rest of farming configuration steps. So once you're in the selection screen Click on restaurant, then select dock, then confirm loadout, and then you just wait. Don't click anywhere, don't do anything, you just have to wait till you lose the round, and at the end of it, you're gonna click on vote for retry. And then click on vote for retry. There you go, you're ready to farm. So. Two options. Uh, either you can uh, launch the application from here, so go to the training grounds, go to the site selection screen, and on here, open the application and press start. Don't touch anything, and it's automatically going to start farming. Yeah. Now the other option you have is that you can close the game. So you can close the game, open the app, and then press 
start. And the application is automatically going to boot the game, go into training grounds, and start farming. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll make sure to answer each and every one of them. Uh, thanks for watching, first of all. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like, uh, leave a comment if it worked for you. And also, uh, if you wish to support me, you can donate. Uh, I've created a PayPal link, which is in the description below. So, you know, every donation really helps and really counts. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and bye-bye.